nice. Thank you. I, uh, I built it for my wife's parents. Unfortunately, my wife left, but fortunately, she took her parents with her. So, so you're divorced? Well, uh, I'm en route. My wife and I dropped our daughter at college, and I turned to her and said, finally, it's our time. And she said, God, no, it's me time. And then her lawyers started billing me for their time. So, Airbnb time. <laughs> anyway, clearly I'm feeling a bit sorry for myself. My husband died when my kids were 11 and 8. Oh, God, I'm sorry. I really wish you'd gone first. Told your story first, not died. <laughs> so what brings you to California? Uh, somehow both my kids ended up here. You know, I think my son is in trouble. He hasn't called me back in four days. Four days? And you flew all the way to Los Angeles. My kids and I are very connected. Honestly, I'd still be breastfeeding if we lived in France. <laughs> Okay, uh, we've got a full kitchen. There is a separate bedroom, much like my wife and I had towards the end. Oh. She blamed it on my snoring. I think it was more to do with a 30-year-old lifeguard she was sleeping with. I don't know what told you that. Oh, people tell me stuff. It's kind of a thing with me. Uh, which is why it bothers me so much that I don't know what's going on with my son. Oh, well, you know, sometimes you have to wait for people to come to you. Yeah. I'm more of a hunt them down and force my love on them kind of person. 